Okay, I'm going to kick off another project today. This one's just going to be a small table for assembly. Um, I want to use these dirty old pallets and I'm going to try and use them in a way that you won't see the dirtiness. Uh, you'll see some intro joinery, if you will, using the tools that I have. Um, and it's just something that anyone can probably have a crack at. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Now, like all my projects, it starts with a little bit of hard yakka. So, busting all the pallets apart using the pallet buster in that previous uh, bit of video and then pulling all the nails out. Taking your time, make sure you don't miss any. You don't want to hit one when it runs through your machinery. Okay, for this little table, I'm gonna make a square profile leg and I'm gonna do that by ripping down pallet slats and then laminating three pieces together so I get to create the first tenon join. Uh, and then I'm also gonna use my table saw to cut out uh, another tenon on the inside or opposing angle of these legs to basically create my own joints. So you notice that little couple of mil extra on that one side, I'm gonna rip that off later on with the table saw. So I basically flattened all my slats with a thicknesser uh, and then I realized that the square profile was gonna be a little bit out of whack. So I allowed for that when I cut the uh, tenon then I'm just gonna rip that edge off, but like I said. So I do like to come up with different ways of using my table saw, basically so I can avoid using a chisel as much as possible. I like to leave that to the true craftsman. I just like to get the job done, but obviously making it neat and as professional as possible. So with just that one tenon cut on one slat, you'll now see me arranging the three slats, offsetting them to create that opposing tenon, which my cross pieces are gonna slot into. Then it's just a case of laminating the three pieces together. Uh, I got this tip from watching Jackman Works' latest Kitchen Island bill. Draw yourself a little line, and then it's just simply sliding them to line up, and it should be nice and square. This is the part I was talking about earlier. So when I used the thicknesser to flatten the slats, I didn't take that into consideration for the final square profile. I did pick it up and I cut my tenon on the table saw uh, so I could center those. And now I just whip that edge off and it's all good. Yeah, the video pretty much tells the story from here. I'm gluing in the first cross piece uh, with the tenons created by aligning each slat. Uh, later on the track, we'll slot the other piece in and we've got ourselves a table frame. Now I'm gonna make the tabletop. I've got this chunky, dirty, um, random old pallet, uh, which I'm just gonna rip the edge off so I can laminate it together to make the bench top. So this is the dirty pallet project and the top is no exception. So I'm giving it a quick sand. I'm then gonna throw a bit of stain on. Uh, this project is actually going to a bloke who likes to restore old rusty things. So the dirty pallets was a perfect project for him.
So I'm throwing a little bit of stain and varnish uh, onto the top and a lick of paint onto the framework. And although I started with some pretty filthy, dirty pallets, they cleaned up all right. Um, and now I've got myself a reasonable looking table, um, which I'm pretty happy with. Okay, that's the Dirty Pallet project done. Uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, just wanted to show some different things, show how to use up those dirty pallets that probably might be stained with a little bit of oil depending on where they come from. There's no chemicals in them, it's just that they look shit. Uh, so a coat of paint, a bit of stain, and you can come up with some pretty cool stuff. Like I said, this one is going to a bloke that restores old rusty pieces of stuff, like my vice, a couple of clamps I gave him. So he just needed a sturdy workbench, uh, which he can get dirty. And this is what I come up with. Thanks for watching.